Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a vlog. Basically, I'm vlogging my weekend because this weekend is quite busy, quite interesting. Um, I've got two photo shoots, one today, it's Saturday, and then one tomorrow. So I'm going to basically go through the process of how I get ready for shoots, the actual behind the scenes of shoots um, and stuff like that. Today's shoot is quite a good one. It's in Sheffield at someone's studio. Um, I'm going to be having my makeup done by Alona again, which I was already done my makeup before, back in like January. Um, so that's fun. But um, yeah, and then tomorrow's shoot is going to be at... It's like, I think it's just like a greenery place, like... Mm, I don't know it's something like that anyways but um yeah it should be pretty cool so I hope you enjoy and follow my socials and let's get into it so as I have just woke up yesterday I was really lazy and I didn't shave my legs or anything so I'm gonna have to get in the shower and do that now I'm gonna show you a few products that I use in the shower though which help me get like literally the best shave but also just in general make me feel amazing at the moment, I'm obsessed with this body scrub from Perfecta. I bought it in Poland when I was on holiday and I absolutely love it. It literally says smooth and happy and that's literally what it does. And the smell as well. I think I got, yeah, I got like pink watermelon or grapefruit and it just smells so nice. I feel like I'm a little bit of a freak when it comes to like body care and stuff because I was looking for like a shower gel to kind of go with the scents but I couldn't find a pink grapefruit one so the closest thing I could find was rhubarb and vanilla whilst I was still in Poland and I got this shower cocktail and literally it smells so good I mean I've used quite a lot of it as you can tell but it just smells so good and it does work quite well with the body scrub so yeah I'm not going to be washing my hair because I did wash it last night so what I'm going to do is put my hair up get in the shower have a have a wash shave come out and then we can moisturize so everyone i've done all of that now and it's time to moisturize moisturizing is a really important part to me like i moisturize every single day and i make sure that i don't forget on a night because it's just i don't know it just makes me feel really good and especially with this moisturizer i also bought this when i was in poland it's from um the company called jaya in polish um it's fit mango basically moisturizing um it literally it says 95 percent of the products in this come from like natural things and um, it's vegan and yeah it's really good and what i like about it is it looks just like normal moisturizer but it just feels so nice and i use this literally on all of my body and then i smell like mangoes but hopefully soon i mean i don't really mind smelling like mangoes because the scent goes away not goes away quite quick but like when i wake up i smell like the tiniest bit of mango so you know what i mean but for the winter times i'd love to get like a vanilla scent everything because i feel like vanilla what's that is it cashmere or something like that like something like that scented i'd absolutely love but anyways i'm gonna moisturize brush my teeth and then actually get dressed into some clothes guys i've lined up on my bed bed a couple of the outfits so here i've got some black leather jeans with this black zebra top which kind of go together but also the background double denim jeans and a denim jacket this is for two different kind of shoot sets because basically one of them i'm going to be wearing the jeans with a bouquet of flowers in front of me as like my top but i'm going to be like topless underneath if that makes sense and then the other one's a double de double denim look where i'm like sat on the chair facing backwards this is a nice little piece for a beige background it's white it's um excuse me really elegant and it's just really pretty uh heels this is for a piece where i'm going to be in like really short shorts with a bralette underneath like on top of a chair folding backwards it doesn't make any sense but it does when i like do it and then this is a black leather blazer for the blazer look that we're going for I'm going to have to have a look if i've got any dresses that i might want to wear for this shoot i think there might be one that i could wear and i think it would look absolutely stunning um because i've got a makeup artist and a hairstylist well it's one person but like an a hmua she will definitely get everything right to each outfit um so yeah i'm gonna go find the dress and see if it fits i'm really bloated right now i think i'm intolerant to just everything because i had gluten yesterday and now i'm just like bloated like as anything i just look pregnant and then I've switched to lactose free stuff, but I still bloat. So I have no clue. My gut health is horrible at the moment, but um, but yeah. I'm now having my makeup done, as you can tell. 
and I will put all the Instagram and all the details up on the screen and down in the description box as always. Hi. <laughs> So everyone here is my finished makeup and hair for the first look on the green background we're going to be doing and yeah so we've uh, finished the makeup and everything and i'm going to get ready we're going to do the double denim look first against the green background i absolutely love my makeup and i will leave the muas handle on the screen and it'll be on my instagram so make sure to go follow her and yeah my hair's looking absolutely lovely and i just love how it looks like especially the curls just flow so nicely so everyone, we are now at the part of the photo shoot where, oh, it's gone dark. I want it to be quite light. We've turned the fan on because I'm sweating. And yeah, I'm now in like the third outfit, which is a little bit of a more classier one. But hopefully the pictures will look just as good and we're just gonna figure out what to do with it. So at this point, I decided to record a little bit of behind the scenes footage to show you guys a little bit of the posing and just a little bit how it went on. I was sat on this stool and it was quite neutral to be honest behind this beige background. So everyone, we are now on our last shoot. So I'm in basically like bicycle shorts with this little like boob tube top and then my heels. And we're gonna recreate some of these. Basically, we've got like multiple like outfits, you can't, even, you can't even see me, I mean you can now, but it's like, got my heels on as well, and Here's a little snippet of different posing from this outfit. I absolutely love listening to my favourite tunes whilst I'm modelling. The weekend was on. Then we decided to go for a little bit of like a little kit effect. So I had to help out with that because I physically could not do it myself. Um, which we actually thought was quite funny. Um, but yeah. So guys, here's a little bit of a behind the scenes. I mean, look how stunning I look. This is just before being edited as well and they just look great don't they so we've just finished the shoot guys super successful everyone it's now the next day as you can probably tell um my eyes are a little bit stained from the liner but it's fine i'm heading out to my second photo shoot now and i won't be recording this one i don't think because it's an outdoor shoot and it's kind of difficult to get behind the scenes um, if I do get to, if I do uh, uh, um, English, if I do take some, then I'll show you. If I don't, then I won't. This is a really, really super chill shoot. We've got literally two outfits, so nothing too special. But honestly, I think that the photos will look quite good anyway. So yeah. <laughs> 